Hello and thank you for watching. I'm Ashley Van Dyke with Advantage Software and in today's video, Eclipse PDF Creation, I'm going to go over all of the great options that you have when creating a PDF with Eclipse. In Eclipse, you have total control over your PDF output. You can choose whether your clients can copy, print, or annotate in your documents. You can include attachments and word indexes as well as your automatic index. And you can print in your display colors if you want to proofread on a tablet um, or any other location or device, or even on paper. In addition, PDF A1B compliance is available if your organization requires long-term storage for PDF documents. The first thing that you need to do in order to make a PDF in Eclipse is open up your document. If you go to production, along with a lot of other production functions, output to PDF is grayed out if you don't have a document open. So I'll open up my example document. And this document does not have an index in it, it doesn't have any attachments embedded, and it doesn't have anything special about it. So for this one, I'm going to go to production, output to PDF. And since I don't have an automatic index or any exhibit files embedded, I don't really need to worry about these checkboxes, they don't matter. However, I will uncheck allow printing, copying, and annotations to show you what those options do. In the top right is the name of the PDF file. The J represents your job name. And so by default, this will fill in the PDF with the same name as your job. My job is called example.ecl, and so when I make my PDF, my PDF will also be called example, except it'll be example.pdf. I am not going to use PDF A1B compliance because this is not a document that I'm going to preserve for long-term storage. And in this instance, I'm not going to print my display colors. I'm just going to make a simple PDF, and however, I will make a PDF with the word index. After Eclipse processes, it'll automatically open up the PDF, which is going to, by default, be saved under Documents, Eclipse, and then Your Name. Now, in this document, since I chose to disallow copying, printing, and annotations, at the top it says Secured, and one of the options I get in my toolbar on the left is a Security tab. And so here it says that I cannot print or copy this document. And so, keeping with that, up here the Print icon is grayed out and I can't access it, nothing happens when I click Print. If I go to File, Print is grayed out, nothing happens when I click on it. And if I hit Control p nothing happens, my printer options don't come up. If I highlight text and right-click on it, I don't get any options for copying text. And if I highlight it, hit Control c open up Notepad, and hit Control v nothing is pasted because nothing has been entered onto my clipboard. If I right-click and hit Paste, nothing gets entered into this Notepad document because nothing was allowed to be copied. Additionally, at the top, the sticky note and highlight icons are marked out because annotations are also disallowed in this document. So this is a very straightforward view-only PDF that you can send to clients if you only want them to be able to view your work product and not print it or copy it in any fashion. Um, for the next examples, for the automatic indexing embed embedding and for attachment embedding, I'm going to go ahead and open up a different document that I made just for that purpose. In this example document, I've marked one examination and two exhibits, and I've generated an, an index. I've not yet added any attachment files, so I'll show you how to do that next. In order to add attachment files, uh, you can go to the location in the document where you want to attach the file, and you can hit Alt N to bring up the print command menu and then select attachment and when you press OK a browse for full file window comes up and this is where you want to select the attachment that you wish to attach this one is the evidence photograph so I'm going to select digital evidence.jpg because that is the attachment that corresponds to that exhibit number and I'll press OK and it will attach it to the document I'll go down to exhibit number two hit Alt N and then attachment again and hit OK and this one is for a bank statement, so I'm going to choose the bank statement. And now, in addition to my print commands for um, all of the indexing commands, I also now have two attachment cr print commands that call in the location and file name of each attachment. Um, these, are, these will get inserted when I go to production and output to PDF in order to attach to the file, and so it's important that you don't move these files or delete these files until you've already created the PDF. So I will go ahead and create my PDF now by going to Production, Output to PDF. 
I'm going to leave include auto index items checked and I'll leave embed in exhibit files checked and this time I'll leave allow printing copying and annotations checked as well we will cover digital signatures later I'll press OK and actually I'll turn on the uh, word index as well and I'll press OK and there are three ways now that we have attachments in this document to access them uh, but first uh, I'll go over the security changes since in this document I have allowed printing copying and annotations there's no longer a security icon here a lock icon and it no longer says secure at the top left and you'll see that the sticky note button works and the highlighting option also works and in addition to that I can go to file and print and printing now works again and I can highlight text and control C to copy it and paste it into notepad and that also works so that's the difference between allowing those functions and not allowing them and as far as the attachments go as I said there are three ways to view them the first way is in the text of the document each attachment will have a hyperlinked box um, to the left in the margin. You can click on this box to open the attachment. This one should be the evidence photograph and it is indeed my digital evidence photograph. And then the second one is going to be the bank statement. If I click on the bank statement box, the bank statement opens. The second place that you can find attachments is on the left hand side in the bookmarks bar. There is a content section and each attachment gets its own section here and each attachment has a, an open link as well as a travel link. So I'm, I'll hit the open link for the digital evidence photo and that opens up and you'll see there's one also for the bank statement. I'll open that up. And also new in this one since we included an automatic index, I have my examination and my, ex my exhibits also listed for easy access. Additionally, since there are speakers in this document, instead of just Q&A, my speakers are listed in the Word Concordance Index. And I can also access the attachments by clicking on the attachments icon on the left. And just double click on one of the attachments to open it. So these features give your clients a lot of control over the document that they receive. And it is a very, very good selling point to offer PDFs with embedded attachments, word indexes, and automatic indexes. Your clients have everything that they need at their fingertips in one step. And so this provides a lot of useful information and tools for your clients and really makes your PDF stand out in comparison to the competition. There are a few other PDF options that I'd like to go over. In production output to PDF, there is a section for, section for digital signatures. Digital signatures are actual digital files that you purchase from a trusted third party digital signing company and you can attach them to your documents to certify that you produce this PDF um, at, at this location and you can also insert your email address. The signature, the signing location and the signer email will all be available to anyone who receives that signed PDF and it will certify to them that it is authentic and original. Now, electronic signatures, digital signatures, are different than just inserting an image of your signature into the document. I'm going to include a link in the top right of this video to our video about inserting an image of your signature. Um, so if that's what you need to do, please see that video for information about that type of signature. You can also change where your files get saved. By default, like I mentioned, your PDF files get saved under Documents, Eclipse, and then into, your, into the folder with your username. However, you can change that option. In Eclipse, go to Alt-U for your user settings, go to the Programming tab, double-click on File Locations, and in here I don't already have something that says PDF equals, so that means that my PDFs are going just to the default location, which is my Jobs folder. So I can hit Add, and I can scroll down to PDF, click OK. And if I have already set up something like it, I can go down and highlight something like a PDF files folder on my desktop. Or if I want to, I can create a brand new folder in my documents folder by clicking new folder and hitting PDF files. And I'm going to specify that this is in my documents folder since I already have a folder called PDF files. I'll hit enter to save that name and then I'll select that new folder I made and hit OK. 
and you'll see that now I have PDF equals and it ends in that folder that I assigned it to under documents on my computer. So I'll press OK and OK and now if I go to production outputs PDF and just hit OK. It again opens the PDF for me but if I go to my documents folder you'll see that I have a PDF files folder and inside of that folder is my PDF document and I can open it up and I have access to all of the um, options that I had checked. I didn't make a keyword index in this example. The last option for PDFs is printing in your display colors. Um, for an example, I'm just going to go ahead and change some color of text. I will go to format and text type and I will set this to user color 3 which is teal for me and then I'm going to go to production outputs PDF and I'm going to check use display colors and press OK and now when this PDF opens up it is in full color this is very helpful if you're proofing on another device such as like an iPad or another tablet um, and so this allows you to have all of your color coded cues anywhere that you want to proofread so you don't always have to be lugging your laptop around and this can also be printed to paper if you want to end up printing these to paper in color with all these great tools, you can produce PDFs that will blow away your clients and give them all the tools that they need to find every bit of information they're looking for in your documents. It is important to note, however, that some PDF viewers do work differently. In this instance, I am using Adobe Acrobat Reader, which is just sort of the ubiquitous worldwide PDF viewer. However, there are a lot of PDF viewers on the market, and sometimes this indexing information on the left might not be so obvious. Sometimes even in Adobe Reader, you have to click on this little arrow to get the bookmarks bar to come up so that you can access these items. And in other PDF viewers, there are, they are sometimes similarly hidden. Um, every PDF viewer that we've tested will properly display and function with all of these options from Eclipse. However, sometimes it is a little bit hard to find. You can check up in the view menu sometimes. Sometimes there will be a display menu. Um, sometimes it will even be under tools um, where you'll be able to change how you can view PDFs and other softwares. If you have problems viewing um, your special PDFs in any particular viewing software, just call Advantage Software and TechSupport would be happy to help you see if we can either figure out how to do it or help you switch viewers if that ends up being what necessary. However, as I said, so far we haven't run into any viewers that have trouble displaying these options. And so this should be an excellent option for both you and your clients and provide a lot of extra flexibility with the information that you can provide for research purposes. Thank you for watching our video about PDFs. As a reminder, PDFs and Eclipse allow you to attach any type of file to your document. You can attach images, sound and video files, documents, spreadsheets, anything that you need. PDFs, as opposed to ASCII files, display all of your font choices, optionally including colors. And instead of sending your clients a Word index, an ASCII file, and then separate attachments, for all of the exhibit files, you can instead combine all of those elements into a single file that is easy for you to make, easy for you to send, and easy for your clients to use. Thank you for watching this video about PDF outputs in Eclipse. As always, anytime 24-7 technical support is available through Advantage Software at 1-800-800-1759 or 772-288-3266 for international or local callers. As always, email support is also available at support at eclipsecat.com if you do not need an, an immediate reply. Please feel free to contact support with questions about PDF or any other feature in Eclipse or any of our related products. Thank you and have a wonderful day.